What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does that break it? Hello everyone, and welcome to Veteran Gaming Rage Shadow Legends, I am Aaron. And we are continuing on with the fusion for the Vault Keeper Wixwell. And I just, at this point, can't help but think, why on earth didn't I go for Armand's? There was something in my head that I just didn't really think fusions were doable for a player of only, you know, level 70 on my account, only been playing for six months, only had these heroes. Like, I had all these reasons built up in my head uh, that I wasn't able to do it, or it would just be too much to take out too many of my resources, right? And I could not have been more wrong. If you don't watch any more of this video, please just know fusions are absolutely doable. They do take some time. I'm not going to take that away from the fusion. They are time consuming. You can use some tools like RSL Helper to reduce some of that time and set up your auto battles correctly. Um, it does take some work, but they are absolutely doable. Uh, just so you guys have a frame of reference here, uh, what, there's four, just under five days here on Wixwell left. Uh, we have two copies, one completely done, ready to go, one only four levels away, ready to go on the Epic here. Uh, we are actually going to live fuse another one because I have a couple more of the chicken hawk lizard thingies ready to go here. So we're going to fuse, fuse, fuse. Now we have three copies, which means we only need one more copy of this epic. Yeah, you have your moment to shine. That's fine. Nobody really talking about you. I don't know. You might hit pretty hard eventually, but I'm not that concerned about you. So that means we only need one more lizard bird hawk thing. And the good news is the classic arena tournament is running right now. Uh, I'm like 60 points shy. I'm not going to wait for this to boot up. But the classic arena takedown is the last one I will have to do. That will get me my last copy of Terex here. And then I can build, get them going. Uh, I'll probably have these three done tonight. Probably since champion training is actually still running. I'll put the work into them tonight um, But we're we're gonna get this done and the good news is If I'm lucky I'll even be able to fuse Wixwell during the clan versus clan because I think this is gonna be a personal reward Even if it's not I'm still gonna summon him during clan versus clan not only because the legendary or great points are in clan versus clan because but also because I want Wixwell up and running as soon as humanly possible. I'm seeing a lot of good things about this. A lot of content creators and people in the game didn't really give him what appeared to be enough credit because uh, he's doing some great work. That uh, shield, building the shield really seems to be a key part that we didn't give enough credit to. So looking forward to Wixwell. Uh, as we see here, the resources. So again, the only money I've technically put into this is the raid card, which I put in. I bought the six-month one a long time ago. So I haven't put any money specifically into this fusion. So I have that going on. The XP, obviously, I'm getting from uh, the quests, the tournaments, the events, all that kind of stuff. Uh, silver here, I just completed the artifact enhancement event uh, probably five minutes before starting this video. I might take the Chaos Dust and the Epic Skill Tome, maybe, kind of depending on how I feel, because I still have, what, 9 million silver here? Farming the Spider for this last tournament really helped out on getting the silver up there, so uh, the events are no big deal. The silver, I came out all right. I think I started the whole fusion with, like, 20-something million, so not a, a giant loss, and I could probably get a little bit more from selling some uh, artifacts I still have stockpiled. Because as you can see here, thanks to the Fire Knight tournament, I got artifacts clogging up my inbox. So I got some more silver I can make too. I'm definitely not in a pinch. And I have whole bunches of stuff that I could forge to make more silver in a pinch too. So silver, not really an issue thanks to the resources I had built up before the event. 2213 on gems. I mean, that's what, like 100, 150 off what I started with, I think. Um, oh, the one thing I will say is I did burn, I had a 2000 energy pack from something I purchased a long time ago. I did spend the 2000 energy, uh, to get through the spider tournament today, uh, which was fantastic. It was a great use. It knocked out the spider tournament for me instantly. It helped with my silver for the artifact. So, uh, I guess technically that was money spent a long time ago that went into this fusion. It would have hurt my gym count. Uh, so maybe that's a little artificially high if you're free to play, but still probably in the 1500 range, uh, on gems. So not really a significant hit to the gems at all. Uh, really, I'm really happy with where I'm sitting 
And not to mention the fact during the summon rush, I got another legendary. Where are you at? Lonatharil. Uh, I got Lonatharil there. Um, and I got a couple of other epics. Nothing to jump up and down about. But, you know, we did get some other good resources uh, throughout knocking out the tournaments and events, obviously. So we're in good shape. Uh, just again, like I'm so upset that I didn't go for Armand's, who's an amazing hero, just because I didn't think it could be done. And it's so, so, so doable. I urge any player, as long as you can reliably farm the dungeons at 20, and by reliably, I mean my Ice Golem is still my best turn team, takes 5 minutes 42 seconds on their best run. So by reliably, I basically just mean don't lose. Uh, my spider team's much better. A little under two minutes there. Fire Knight, uh, three minutes. Uh, Dragon's Lair, best time, two and a half. So, I mean, under five minutes on all of them. And that's all you need. You don't have to be able to beat it in 30 seconds. Run it overnight with RSL Helper or run it overnight with your auto battles if you have them. Uh, just set the the gems to refresh your energy automatically and just knock it out overnight. And then check and see what you got in the morning. Collect your resources from the tournament or event. That's basically what I did with Spider today. I just set it up. I left the house for a while. When I came back, I had 50 battles on the Spider. Complete. Done. Knocked out my Dungeon Diver big time. Knocked out my Spider tournament. So good stuff there. Really excited to fuse Wixwell here. Man. Uh, probably not tomorrow, but the next day, depending on clan versus clan. He's coming though. We're getting him. And that's amazing. I am so, so, so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Uh, now it's especially knowing like I can make fusions in the future. I can't, I'm, I'm going to go for every fusion from here on out. I'm telling you right now. It like, it gives you a nice little goal. It gives you some rewards along the way. It gives you something to do and aim for while playing the game. I, at least so far, have enjoyed this fusion. And frankly, I think these are the worst fusions, right? Like the other ones, the Fragment Summons fusions, seem to be everybody's favorite. They seem to be much simpler. So um, I am I am pumped that I can do a fusion, especially the, the more difficult ones. So really happy. If you guys have any uh, thoughts, comments, tips, tricks, especially for newer players completing fusions, please put it in the comments section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.